Hobo Christine for everything gypsy and a hobo lifestyle of travel around the world. Please subscribe. Thank you. my Halloween baby. I took myself to Italy. I actually took a best friend to Italy for her birthday. She turned 43. So I celebrated my birthday also because it fell about the same time. So a lot of people ask me how do I afford my travels because I've been traveling for so long and I don't work. I have been a bartender in St. Martin, done online editing and online writing, but now mainly I live off of savings. Savings that I don't work. Scratch. Huh? Don't scratch. Don't scratch? No, no. Uh-oh, scratch. don't scratch. Okay, that's better. How, uh, a lot of people ask me how I travel, and it's mostly with savings that when Chris and I bought our boat, our Gemini catamaran, 13 years ago, I think 13 years ago, most of the money went to me when we sold the boat because we got almost the same exact amount. We did actually, except for the, um, except for the agent fees. And they get like, I can't remember, 13%, 8%. So we got almost all our money back during that time. Chris was borrowing a lot of money, so most of the money of the sale of the boat went to me. So I have been able to travel very cheaply on a budget. So my whole travel is not about going to resorts. It's not about eating fancy restaurants. It's about traveling and getting the most of, out of your money. And even hobo, hobo traveling, like camping and just sleeping anywhere you can find, because I love to camp. So one of the highlights to me to be anywhere is um, out in nature. So a lot of people won't be able to camp, but if you're able to camp, places like Hawaii, Hong Kong, you can go camping for free. Well, I think Hawaii, you pay a small fee. I didn't go camping in Hawaii. So all my travels now is very cheap. I couch surf, I stay at other people's homes, but it's not even saving money that I do that. I just love meeting locals that introduce me to the area and if, when they have time, they take me around to all the local places. So I'm not going to touristy places. I'm going to where all the locals go. So that in itself is invaluable to me because that's how I like to travel. Just eat, drink, and talk. Now, I don't really need to see a lot of sites because I've seen so many in my lifetime, so many museums. I don't remember a lot of the history because I've been to so many places. So what makes traveling to me is the connections I make, the friendships, the people I talk to, the, um, the things I eat, especially eating. I love eating and drinking, so I spend most of my money eating and drinking. And just talking to people and um, that's what makes traveling fun for me is eating drinking and talking to people so that's why I love cup surfing because the cook for me that tell me where to go and give me all these hints and I'm a very lazy traveler I don't even read or research most of the time a lot of people when I first began backpacking I would buy the lonely planet and look through that but now I don't I just Buy my ticket, get a couch surfing post, and um, wait until I ask them where I should go, what I should see, and then from there I start talking to other travelers, and then that's how I plan my itinerary. I don't have any plans most of the time, unless it's something big, then I'll be like, I want to see that. But if it's not big, then I don't really have plans. I just sort of roam around the city, the beaches, camping, I hitchhike, and a lot of people are very afraid to hitchhike, but 